This is exciting. Just a few days before the launch of the OnePlus 6T, I was invited to HQ in China. And in this video, I've got four really cool things that I'm allowed to show you from inside. I even managed to go hands-on with the 6T itself, and in this video, I'm going to reveal everything that I can. So let's get stuck in. The first thing you'll see when you enter HQ is this massive collection of OnePlus products that you've probably never heard of. Everything from satchels to eco-friendly reusable cans. There was a pretty neat looking polo shirt, a full scale mouse pad. I mean, most of this stuff is either super limited edition, only available in some markets, or never actually ended up on sale. So really cool to see it all together in one place. As you might have guessed then, I spent way too long browsing and kind of forgot why I was here in the first place. They also have every one of their phones, including the OnePlus One in bamboo, which I never had a chance to see before, the OnePlus Two in carbon fiber, and even the OnePlus X. It gets better, because then I was taken to a secret room surrounded by frosted glass for a sneak peek at something I don't think many people have seen before. I wasn't quite allowed to film the inside of the room, but it was filled with OnePlus prototypes, different finishes that never quite saw the light of day, so far at least. After a bit of convincing though, I did manage to take a few of my favourite finishes outside to get a bit of footage. And to be honest, some of them look incredible. You've got one dark purple to black twilight option, but also silver and red, and my personal favourite, this super glossy sunset gradient version. I could definitely see some of these making it to future devices. Third, the office space, and pretty much every person in that building was working full throttle on the 6T, planning the launch, designing the website, and testing for bugs. Kind of exciting to see it in person. I managed to find the one-of-a-kind OnePlus YouTube Silver Play button, and the pretty odd food cupboard, which has some options that, let's just say, personally I'd pass on. There's a games room which has a swinging chair, a bear the size of me, and musical instruments, because I'm told there is actually a OnePlus band, and this is one of the places they practice in. The view from outside the office was pretty cool too. You can see a good part of Shenzhen, and if you look into the distance, even a bit of Hong Kong. Now, the last area that I got a chance to see was meeting room number one, the main event, a room where a lot of important decisions are made for the company. So, of course, we didn't use it for a little chair racing competition, obviously. Oh yeah, and this was where I got to go hands-on with the OnePlus 6T. So, I was lucky enough to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with Saheb, who is head of European communications, and asked him a few questions about the 6T. While holding the phone itself and getting to play with it, it is right here in my hand in this video, but I just can't show you the full details yet. But what I can tell you is his answers, which I've paraphrased to the following. The first question I asked him was, what was the vision with this phone? What problem were OnePlus trying to solve? To which Saheb had three main points. With the 6T, the company has tried to build a phone that is number one, intuitive. Number two, even faster than before. And number three, one that is as stress-free as possible. So I kind of followed this up by asking, why make a T device? Why create two flagship phones per year? Saheb responded by saying that OnePlus doesn't commit to doing a T device. They only do it if they think they can improve the experience enough. And just the speed that tech is moving right now really helps the company because new components are constantly being developed while existing tech can become more affordable. So then, my last question to him was this. The OnePlus 6 is already one of the fastest phones on the planet. Almost everything feels pretty instantaneous. So where do you go from there? How do you one-up this further? The focus of OnePlus has always been, how can we make the experience the best to work in real-life situations? For example, some cameras have hundreds of settings, but all you want is the perfect picture, so we've worked on that. Or you're a big gaming fan, so we've made some tweaks to make your life better. Even our screen unlock, we've tuned it to be the best in the industry. And last but not least, I actually then got to take the 6T out for a bit of a test run, fitted with this super secretive case to stop anyone seeing the body of the device. Safe to say, I'm excited to see your reactions to it, and I'm prepping a very special, different kind of video to drop as soon as the phone is officially announced. So it would be amazing if you could smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to tune in to the launch livestream, which is happening on the 29th of October, and I'll drop a link down below for you to take a look at. Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Aaron, and I'll catch you in the next one.